Today I'm going to be painting a white butterfly. This is the reference photo. The first thing I did was to open a new layer and then I traced the image onto that layer. And then after that, I opened another layer on top of that one and that would be the layer that the painting would go on. That extra layer allows me to put some paint on the top and when I'm ready, I can delete or rub out, erase the lines underneath as you see on the wings that I've just done. You will also notice that I very soon go to a grey background and that's so that it gives me a better idea of how white the white is than I'm actually doing the wings. I'll start off with the top wing. Um, I put in a base colour, a very off-white white colour, but I'll leave the brightest whites to give me the highlights. I put some white lines uh, denoting the veins into the wings into the wing and you can see those white lines and I edge those with a little bit of darker grey and that makes the veins actually stick out a little bit. Um, the base coat was done with a Jinsenki brush and then on top of that I used the grunge brush to give it some texture and that also knocks back the veins a little bit. Um, the black blotches that you can see they're done with a burnt tree brush from the charcoal range um, other than that it, it's mostly the grunge brush now you can see that i'm going onto the lower wing which on the reference photo is darker so i've put it in in a darker mustardy color or a light mustardy color um, and now you can see the actual veins that i'm putting in with a fine inking brush in white and you'll see shortly that I start to go underneath each one with a grey colour and that actually makes them pop out. Now they're all looking very veiny at the moment but when I start to put the white on with the grunge brush you can see it starts to knock the take the mustard colour out of the mustard but leaves some there at the start of the wing where it uh, gives it a bit of brightness and again I've used the grunge brush and the burnt tree brush to put a little bit more texture in. You will also notice that when using the grunge brush it's actually gone over the end of the wing. Well that doesn't matter because all I do is get the eraser uh, and erase that out and we're back to the clean edge again. Now I'm starting to work on the body. The body is actually a mass of fine airs and to get the texture I use various colours and you can see that they appear as batches of very small airs. This is done with a stamp brush that I made myself a while ago and I use it quite often. It's just very fine um, airs made with a fine inking brush I've turned it into a stamp brush and then I can stamp um, the pattern, if you like, onto the bodywork of the butterfly or anything else that needs fine lines. Uh, and I find it very successful for creating texture. I won't explain how I do the stamp brush because there are plenty of tutorials on the internet where you can find out how to make a stamp brush in Procreate. For the legs of the butterfly, I use a, a basic grey line done with the ink, fine inking brush. Um, and then on top of that, I again use the stamp brush on the very smallest setting and stamp little airs onto the brush uh, in a lighter colour. And this gives the effect of very fine airs on the leg of the butterfly. After finishing off the legs of the butterfly um, and the proboscis, the next thing I do is start to work on the flowers. Um, I do this in another layer and start off with a Gen Sinky brush, uh, put in a base layer of white and grey and then I move on to the colour and start putting some colour on that. The actual colour in the flower is done with a grunge brush. 
Now I don't want to spend too long painting flowers so you'll see another one has just appeared very quickly and that's because I copied and pasted the first flower and flipped it horizontally so I've now got two flowers for the price of one and it's all done very quickly. The flowers that are in the picture that I've got in my mind they're all of the same plant so why do they all want to look different? So I've got them all looking very similar and it's done very quickly. You may have also noticed that I had two butterflies on the screen at one time as well. And that was because I quickly began to realize that the original butterfly um, was too big. So because it was on a separate layer, I was able to select it and reduce the size of it and and now it's more in line with the size of the uh, flowers. You can see now that I've put the stamen of the flowers in, um, some little yellow dots and some white lines, and the white lines are again edged with a grey line um, to make them pop out a little bit. After I've got the flowers in position, the next thing to start doing is to put the leaves and the stalk in. Um, the stalks uh, that I'm doing in red here, you can see a basic red colour. I've done that with a Gensinki brush and then I've used the grunge brush with two shades of green and gone over the top of it very lovely with a dark green down the right side, the light green on the left side to denote some colour. And I've also started putting in the leaves. Um, leaf on the right hand side you can see I put a vein down the centre and um, look very bright to start with but by the time I've put the darker green and the lighter green on the top of it and a little bit of blue for a highlight um, you can't see the vein very much at all and um, once I've done that I copied and pasted that leaf and then flipped it and put it on the other side and distorted it a little bit so I've then add two leaves and you can see how I've done this third leaf now and um, you can see how the vein was sticking out like a sore thumb um, but I put some darker green down the one side some lighter green down the other with a grunge brush and that knocks the vein back quite a lot so it doesn't look quite so in your face and um, then there's another leaf going in round the back. Um, you'll notice that there's bits of green sticking out all over the place on the edges of the stalk and round the edges of the leaves. Well, once I've got it basically right, um, I just go round and erase it. Erase the stem so that it's as thin as I would like it and get rid of all the access. Um, and to me, it looks reasonably good. Right, now I'm just doing the tidying up, um, making some of the stalks a little bit thinner because they're looking a bit on the fat side and making sure I remove any of the marks um, that I've made that shouldn't be there with the eraser. Once I've done that, the next thing I do is change the background colour to the black colour that it's actually going to be in the finished article. And the next thing to do is to get some more flowers. So I erase the butterfly off one of the layers and then copy and paste um, just the flower part into other parts of the image. Um, I distort them a little bit and flip them over where I want to and reduce the opacity. And that gives me a bunch of flowers with a bunch at the front that is highlighted with the butterfly on and there you have it i think i've produced a, a pleasant image if you enjoyed watching please subscribe there'll be another one along shortly thank you very much